Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Pokestable channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. What's going on? I figured we'd do a little bit of study today, guys. Um, figured we'd play some hybrid. Get after it. On a no delay, we could have some good chats. That's the story. Let's uh, let's learn. So let's let's kick kicking off with some hybrid. Let's start with natural play here. Let's just get some hands in. Two thousand years later. If you guys want to chime in as well, we can do question and answer. Uh, we could do that for a bit. Why don't we Why don't we get some chat involved on this one? If you guys want to play a bit, you can. King eight offsuit on the button. What are we doing? We raising, we folding, and if it's a mix, what's the mix? Folding says Vin still. Six handed cash, yeah. Six six handed no ante, hundred blinds. Fold, fold, folding, eighty percent. Raise. Yeah, I think it's this. I think we're raising a little bit. It's the line though, chat. Not a bad, uh, not a bad answer. It's the line. It's the line. Three bet. All right, we raise ace 10 off. We get three bet out of the big blind. Two 13 blinds. What are we doing? Folding, calling, or four betting. t style says call. Hexdex says four bet. Fold, fold, call, fold. I think it's a fold. I think, I think ace jack is going to be a fold here mostly, by the way, as well. I think ace jack is gonna four bet like 30% of the time and fold, and then ace 10 is gonna be a pure fold. Ace Jack is a pure fold. Ace Queen is the one that is four betting 30% or folding. We are too wide, chat. This is what we need to learn. There is too many calls out there. It is a clear fold. What are we doing? Pre-flop. 7-3 suited. Get a raise from the hijack. Are we raising, calling, or folding? Good call. We got fold, call, fold. So I can tell you in tournaments here, you call like you can continue with any two suited. I think in cash games, we're connected enough. But seven do suited, we probably fold. Let's see. That's the line. So there, there's the suited hands. And in tournaments, none of these would be folds. They'd all be calls with the antis. The line, it's tough spots. Like it's it's testing us on tough spots because it knows me as a player. It knows pre-flop, I'm all in the green. So I'm pretty good. So it's giving me edge case spots for what it's worth. Hopefully you use my link. This is a plug chat. Use my link to buy hybrid, okay? Raise call. All right, so three-way pot. We're not gonna go post-flop on this one. We have eights here, chat. Are we going to call, fold, or squeeze? My first impression is we're just calling here. I don't think it's a great squeeze spot. I think we're just calling. Better call, fold, call, fold. I think it's gonna be a call. We are actually gonna squeeze some here with the pair. Jax on the button. We get a raise. This is GTO, remember, right? This is GTO. This isn't against human beings. GTO on the button, raise in the hijack, we have jacks. What are we doing? We're not folding, we know that. So are we always three betting? Are we calling some? What's the percentage here, chat? Is it 100%, what percentage raise? Are we raising 100% or less? I think 75 is closest here. I think it's gonna be something like this. It is 50-50, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy, dude? GTO land that we are half flatting jacks here. Look how mixed the strategy is, right? It's a very mixed strategy. Now I guess human beings, I'm always three betting jacks here, right? Unless I'm playing like high stakes online cash, I'm just gonna three bet. But very interesting to see that this is literally a 50-50. It's crazy. All right, nine seven offsuit here, chat. Nine seven offsuit. Get a raise under the gun in GTO land. Are we three betting, calling or folding? And what's the mix, if there is one? Got fold, 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 mostly fold, fold. I think it's a mostly fold. I think it's it's gonna be this. The line, nine eight actually. Nine seven is only 6%, so really nine eight is the line. You guys are right on the fold. I'm a little too aggro there, man. Okay, next, ace 10 we raise, we know that. Now what? Here we go, post-flop spot. We raise ace 10, call on the button. Flop is queen six deuce with two clubs. Post-flop out of position, the hardest thing ever as the pre-flop raiser. So hard. What do we do here, Chad? Check 100%. Check. Bet small, says C Thrilla. Any other opinions? Check. Bet 26%. I was thinking it was going to be this. You guys seem to want to go more small bet. I'm thinking it's something like this. 
Okay. I mean, not bad. Not a bad mix. Look at our range, dude. 80% of our range checks on Queen Six Deuce. So hard to play out of position as the preflop raiser. So hard. Jack Eight Offsuit. Raising the cutoff. Jack Eight Offsuit in the big blind. Are we three betting, calling, or folding? We have call for fold, fold, call slash fold, call, call, three bet. Three bet, 20% rest folding. I'm thinking it's this. I think it's the line. Jack Nine is a play. I think it's the line. It's not. Jack nine is a pure play. Jack eight is a pure fold. 10 eight is a half and half. So we're very close to the line, but too wide. We're raising chat. 10, six, seven. All right, here we go. We got aces. Flop is 10, six, seven rainbow. What are we doing? Our options are check, bet 28%, bet 66%, bet 100%, bet 150%, and a mix of any of them. What are we gonna choose to do here? 66 and some 28. 66 mostly. See, I think we're going to do all three of these things in theory, you know? I think we're going to do some checking because it's a board that really hits their range quite hard. I think we're going to do some small betting because they have a lot of hands that are going to continue for small bets. And then I think we're going to do some big betting. I think it's going to be a mix between all three. And we'd probably choose a little bit more big sizing with like jacks and queens and kings than aces. So I'm going to do something like this. No. I am wrong. There is no small bet. It's big better check. And 60% is checked back here. That is incredible, right? Like, this is so hard to do well. And I feel like I'm better than I used to be at this. But, like, it's still so hard to do this well. It's so hard. Like, here's the thing, right? My brain snaps into hand thinking here often. Where it's just like, we have aces. We want to bet. Our hand is good. It's an overpair. We can get value from a bunch of things. But it's just like, wait a second, in every other spot, I'm starting range and then going to hand. What does our range want to do on this board? Well, actually, a lot of checking, right? Like, let's think about what our range looks like here on 10, 6, 7. You know, we have a bunch of this Broadway stuff that is missed. It's just ace high, king high, queen high. It's not super happy. We have some 7x and some 6x, right? We have some of the 7x, but we don't really want to play a big pot with our second pair. We're going to check back with a lot of this stuff. We have some ace highs that have missed, ace 9, ace 8. So we have a bunch of stuff that's like very middle strength average. And then, yes, we have some good stuff though. Aces, kings, queens, jacks, tens. The sets of sevens and sixes, right? Based on that, our middle strength stuff doesn't really want to bet small because it just wants to check and keep the pot small. And our strong stuff wants to go for some big bets, but like we're going to have more checks than bets here. And if we're just like betting everything good and then checking everything uh, average, it's like what's going to be left on the turn? Well, they're just going to like pot bet and we're screwed, you know? So we need to include some good hands that check back as well, that are less vulnerable. And what's like some of our least vulnerable good hands? Well, aces, you know. Aces is a lot least, a lot less vulnerable than Jax is. It's just tough, dude. It's a tough thing. Look at this. Man. Look at this. That's just incredible. The game of poker is incredible, chat. Crazy daisy. King 8-8 eight eight here, chat. We raise, get a call on the button. What are we doing here? Monkey basis check. Check. I think it's going to be this. I think we're going to choose a small sizing here instead of a big size because of the king 8-8 eight eight part of this. Wrong. Look how much our range bets. This is crazy, dude. Let's look at these ranges here. Okay. This is what our opponent has got. This is what we've got. So much king X. That's it, dude. Look at all this king X. We have so much king x, and neither of us have 8x. Like, we carry some air, but not... I mean, it's doable. Damn, this is so gangster. Out of position, preflop razor is so hard. It's just so hard. That button had more 8 there, yeah. We bet small, they call 8 on the turn, okay. So, I mean, I think we have the same amount of 8, basically. So, that doesn't really factor in here. It's still just going for this uh, two-thirds bet, and then the river is where we're going to see big, big bombs. But mostly this, probably, right? Yeah. No jam with this hand. There is no jam in general. It's just 130% with 
the king. But then we're doing some checking with King X as well, which is very nice. We need a, we need a, I need a brain break, dude. Damn, I need a brain break. So yeah, check out Hybrid Poker. And that's it for today. Thanks so much. Peace out, one. Peace out, all. Goodbye.